Hey folks, Mike Miller here, and today we are back with Zombie Society, the detective. A curse in disguise, where I, I kind of ran into a wall and had to take a bit of moment, to, a few moments to scratch my head and think about things, and I didn't figure anything out, but I thought, hey, we haven't talked to Detective Cough, uh, Detective Cough for a, since we put him in our pocket. Hey there, Detective Cough. What's on your mind, old boy? How are you settling in my pocket? Been hoovering up the lint for me? Gotta tell you, unexpectedly comfortable in there. I could get used to just being ahead. Yeah, I could. I could just live in your pocket all the time. I could be your new sidekick. I've already got a sidekick over there. I don't think he'd be too happy about being ditched. Such large pockets. Are you willing to sell this night leather jacket? Nice quote. Wrong game. I don't know which game it's from, but I feel bad I should probably know. Anyway, working for some Beano. Really? What the brain were you thinking? You're right, old boy, I know. It's just, been doing my job, honestly, for more than a century. And what do I have to show for it? Well, I mean, I guess it was more than I have to show for it now. Thought I could make some extra cash. That's it. At least I got out of it before it was too late. What? What do you mean, if it was too late? And they stole your body. What would have happened if it was too late? I might have lost my body, but I didn't lose my integrity. Can someone scratch my doors for me, please? Incredibly itchy. How's uh, Eternal on Death without a body? Damn boring. Worst part is, I can still move my body, but I can't see what the brain I'm doing with. So you can still move your body, huh? It's interesting. What does your body feel? Any hint on its location? Does it feel soggy? Does it feel unexpectedly hot? Does it feel like it's got lots of knives sticking out of it? I'm trying to move around a bit, but all I can tell you is that it's inside some small damp room. Ah, okay, small damp room. A coffin, maybe? Yeah. Don't worry, a rotten head cough. We'll find your body. Whether it's in one piece or not is another matter, of course. I trust you, old boy. In the meanwhile, I'll uh, always be with you. Literally. Alright, in you go. So we got some new evidence out of that. Oops, nope, wrong thing. Ha da! So, cough can feel his body is in a small, damp room. Hmm. Is that anything to do with the bakery, do you think? Is there anything? No. I guess not. So, who can we go talk to about that? Well then, where do I go now? And who do I talk to now? Can Talkie help me out? Ah, hello. Oh, I do know those two goons from another game. I'm sorry, I must have missed one in the series. I'm gonna be, I'll play catch up. I'll play catch up if need be and get, get around to it. Anyway, let's see what he knows about that. I see Zombino's goons are running the bakery, but were they his bodyguards? Well, I've heard they were demoted because of their numerous failures, but I can't confirm the truth of this tidbit. Oops. Boss, I think we might have had something to do with that. Uh, oh, do you still have Sewer's Orc's phone, phone number? Nope. Sorry. But I remember giving it to you not so long ago. You lost it. You're right. I should still have it somewhere in my office. Ah. So I need to find Sewer's Orc's phone number and try and get him on the, meet him again. Ah, and then stalk him back to his house again like I did before. Ah. Is there any possible, the draw maybe? Nothing. The archive. Nothing. There must be something somewhere. What about the other drawer? Can I open the other one? Ah, that's why. Because there's two drawers to open. Duh. Aha! I knew I still had this. Sewer's Orc's phone number. Yay, let's use it. I could call Orc. But he knows our voices perfectly by now. And he hates our guts. How about we use Cough to phone? Ah, hey Cough, how about you call Orc instead of us? 
Aha. Hmm, it's not a bad idea. Orc might even think I still work for Zombino. Let's do this. Who's there? Be quick. I'm busy. Watch your rotten tongue, Orc. It's me, Goff. Oh, um, hello, sir. How can I help you? I've been ordered to check on you, so I'll be visiting soon. What's the braided password for your new door? Oh, for the devil's sake, you too? Why does everybody forget it? I mean, it's zero, 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 sir. I, I, I'll see you soon then. That's perfect. Thank you, Detective Coffin. Back in the jacket you go. Don't mention it. Now, let's go get the idiot. Let's go get the idiot indeed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can't believe his passcode is zero, zero, zero. That's like having password as your password. Let's see if the combination we learnt is correct. Ork, ork, ork. When will you ever learn? Damn you! How did you enter this time? What kind of question is that? By the front door, obviously. The window was all seriously boarded up. Can't get in that way. But, but why are you even here? I haven't done anything wrong this time. Ork. I clearly saw. It doesn't matter what you saw. What proof do you have? I'm quite sure that if we search your house, we'll find something. It's not like you did not be up to something. Oh, please. Go ahead. Aha, did you hear that, boss? His voice trembled. Maybe we could just talk to him first. You're going to jail, Orc. Again. Just so you know it. For what? You can't prove anything. We'll soon see about that. Let's have a look. Vase? Do you steal this vase, Orc? What kind of crook do you take me for? Someone else stole that one for me. The worst kind. Okay, statue. What a hideous looking statue. I like it. Telephone. Of course, you don't need to use it. The gong. This brings back memories. Yes, I remember this showdown. Check out the other playthroughs to see what I mean. Or play the games for yourself. Draw some money in here. So what? Is it legal? And a letter which reads, From Zombino with his thanks. You should have disposed of this, Orc. Rookie mistake. I'll have to confiscate the money. You, you can't. You'll have a word with my lawyer. I got money, which means I can buy a cake. Huh, I don't know if that's going to be much use to me. Nothing in here. Just leaves the carpet, right? Hmm, this reminds me of something. Didn't you used to have a secret place under that carpet? And isn't it weird how you walked on top of the carpet before I started searching the house? Oh. Aha, and what do we have here? Quite the bunch of letters. All signed by the Nine Deaths Cat. Was Sue's Orc pretend to be Nine Deaths Cat? What do you have to say in your defense? I. I won't speak without a lawyer! Sure you won't. You'll have to come with me to the police station though. Have fun in your new cell, Orc. Think about your crimes while you're at it. Ah, <sighs> does this conclude our case, boss? Not at all, Gvin. We've yet to find Koff's body. Let's get back to work. I've got money now, though, and I've got more evidence. So, nine deaths cut. It was all fake. All right, does Splut have anything new to say? Hey there, Officer Splut. Oh, no, nothing. Let's a mosey then. So we've got money, which means we can go buy a cake, right? Right. At least I think that's the item we picked up, isn't it? I assume it is. Kashito! We'll have to give this to the commissioner. Uh, eventually. And Sue's Orc phone number. I don't really need to. Okay. I need to buy a cake. So I need to get the money, the muns, and give it to these guys. There we go. Can I have a cake? 
That depends. Can we have your money? Hmm, why not? What do you say, Grun? Care for a bite of cake? Ooh, gimme, gimme. Grun will take a bite of anything. I'm quite worried that he would take a bite of himself if he was not fed often enough. Oh. Ooh, that tasted horrible. Wow, must have been very bad if even you didn't like it. Okay, so the cakes are actually terrible. Weren't you the guys? Uh, weren't you guys Zombinos, Zimbomio, bleh, Zombinos bodyguards? I heard you got fired. Who said that? You see? Word's spreading already. And it's all your fault. My fault? We got fired because you're an idiot. And you kept messing up. Me? What about that time you accidentally shot at the boss? Really? And what about that time you accidentally put Zombino's head in the oven? Wow, no wonder they got fired. They're even worse sidekick than me. Seems to me like I touched a nerve. Oh god, it, um, how can I get these guys to fight each other? They look quite agitated, I better not intrude. This might be a good time to take the key. Aha! Well, don't say yoinks after you... St don't, don't make it too obvious. Okay, guys, see ya, you totally useless drongos. Right. Key to this door, I guess. Yes. Key fits perfectly. I... Oh. Unholy zombie cow. Look at all the weapons. I've never seen a bakery so well furnished. <laughs> Fully furnished. Never seen a bakery that sells firearms, either. Well, we're really racking up the evidence now. Let's have a look at all of it. The bakery's court products are really bad. If they opened 10 years ago, how the hell... If their cakes are terrible... So, being opened his bakery 10 years ago, it's found no clients because his products are very bad. Bakery's not making money, so why hasn't he closed it? Now that's an interesting question. What else do we have here? Room at the back of zombie. The bakery's full of armed robbery and firearms at the bakery. No. Okay, I'm just spitballing here. Okay, I think we need some. Wow, that's the weirdest cake I've ever seen. It's a gun cake. Dynamite. Can I take it? Oh yeah. Cool. You never know when you might need some dynamite. You could always come handy. Oh, I know that. You always do. Yep, you just, it's all a sack, sack, sack. By the smell of it, I'm guessing it's gunpowder. Apparently, there's no trace of Cough's body in here. So, there's, yeah, there's no cough here either, so that goes to our evidence. No trace of Cough's body inside the room at the back of Zombino's bakery. Okay then. So, where will we need to use dynamite? Oh, I found another connection here about the room at the back of the zombie was bakery full of various firearms, but there's no trace of the body. So the room at the back of the bakery is full of firearms, but there's no trace of Koff's body. Hmm. I think it's nothing but a front. I think. Ah, there we go. Aha, I did make a new connection. There we go. So Beano's goons stole the body, right? If my guess is a correct one. I think we might have found the culprit. Well, I think so. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's no secret room. Oh, damn it. I wasn't ready to... Damn it. I understand. Thank you for your hard work. Loma. What now, boss? Hmm, seems like we came to the wrong conclusion, Grin. We'll have to try again. Well, damn it. It's interesting how you can make different conclusions, though. I like that. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it. You used to deal with kidnappings. I totally skipped all that text. I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. So you used to deal with kidnappings for ransom, too. Okay. Talkie did have more information for us, and I completely managed to... 
Oh, so he used to do armed robbery and kidnappings? He kidnapped Detective Coff's body, maybe? He got arrested for armed robbery, but he used to deal with kidnappings? For ransom, too? It does fit. Cool, so does that mean that Mum Mum stole the body? Let's go for it. Alright, let's try this again. Back again? What the braid do you want from me, huh? Only the truth, Mr. Mum Mum. We've heard that you used to kidnap people for a ransom. Is that right? Well, it's true, I admit it, but that's all behind me now, I swear. So why does Sewer Orc claim that you stole Detective Cop's body? He didn't actually say that to us, did he? Are we just assuming here? What the? Who's lying, of course. I don't know nothing about it. Hear me out, Mom. Zombino is finished. We have positive proof that he's some kind of crime boss. He's going down. Orc did the right thing and told us all he knows to reduce his sentence. I kindly suggest you do the same. That stupid rat. Damn, I don't want to go back to prison. This is going to be my last job for Zombino. Well, I was kind of bluffing. You won't go to jail and I'll keep my mouth shut with the police. If you tell me where you hid the body. Damn, for real? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> You're good. Believe me, I'm not always good. This was just a pure shot in the dark. That was clever, boss. Now, what's it gonna be? Will you help me? Fine, fine. Look, there's this abandoned farm. Oh, there it is. My mum wasn't lying. We found it. Cough. We did it. You mean you did it, old boy. I barely did anything except waffle on in your ear and complain about the smell in your pocket. Long go to the times when you needed me to guide you through everything, huh? Speaking of which, Where's your partner? He's still at the police station. Don't help Bobber to wrap up this case while we retrieve your body. Wait. Oh boy. Where do you go? Don't leave me alone. I'm behind you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, Chris. I've got abandonment issues, you know. So we need to get in this door. Yes, and of course it's locked. Uh, maybe there's a key around here. Or we can blow up the door. Oh, we can blow up the door. I have some dynamite to blow up the door, but the uh, body's too close to it. Can you move it a bit further away? I, I would, old boy, but for some reason I can't do it right now. In that case, we'll have to find another way. Oh, we're not done here. He seems unable to move his own body. All right. But if you can feel his body in a small damp room but can't move it, then... Cough is lying, the body inside the cell is not his own. That's what I was thinking. Why could he suddenly, why would he suddenly not be able to bloody move his body? Although it pains me to even think this, it seems like Cough is lying to me. But why would he? Why would he? Come on, old boy. Now we need to find a way to open that cell. Maybe he's still working for Zombino. Zombini, Zombino. Maybe that's why. Oh yeah, guess we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, right, right, um, watch where you're wearing, please. Here we are then. Buddy, follow me. Alright, buddy. Okay. That buddy's just a mannequin. Cough? What does this mean? You're a detective, old boy. Figure it out. You never stopped working for Zombino, did you? Why would you go so far as betraying me? It really pays me to do this to you, old boy. It's true. But I'm fed up of working my ass off for lousy pennies. Zombino offered me the chance to live the big undeath, and I've decided to take it. And you could have done the same. Why have you opposed him so fiercely? What's in it for you? An honest day's work and a bloody... Brains on my plate at the end of the day paid for with legitimate money. That's what's in it for me. Somebody once taught me that being able to watch yourself in the mirror without feeling shame is worth more than all the money in the world. 
but I realize now he might have been lying to me. This abandoned farm belongs to Zombino. He's going to demolish it later today, as he no longer needs it. And um, uh, guess where you're going to be when it gets demolished? Mm, right where you are now. Of course. Uh, I'm saying you're going to get killed. You get it? So even if you manage to open this cell, you'll still be trapped under all the debris of the upper floor. You might be able to free yourself, eventually, but it'll take you decades, or even a century before you're out again. Sorry you have to go this way, old boy. I'm the one who's sorry, Cough. Wait. What? Hey there, boss. Unfortunately for you, Cough, I saw through your lies, and I took a few precautions. Well, I'm glad he did, because I certainly didn't. No. This can't be happening. You said it yourself. Long gone are the times when I needed to, you to guide me through everything. Guess you'll be the one who ends up behind bars after all. Yes, I could certainly do with being on the other side of these bars myself, guys. Oh, well, there we go. I found 11 of the 12 clues. I, I, yeah, I got the culprit wrong on the first try. Saw through cops lies and looted Zombino's trap. Well then, 16 out of 27. Eh. September. September, that's when it comes out now, yes. September this year, so it's not too long to wait. We have deduced another mystery, and we have completed another case. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit upset I didn't get the culprit right the first time for who actually kidnapped. Well, who kidnapped Cough, but hey-ho, that's the way it goes. Uh, another fun game. Another fun little peek into the world of zombie society. And apparently the dead detective games are just one little facet of the whole thing, because it's a big... You could do all sorts of things, not just detective games. It's a zombie society, it's a whole world, right? So, so many things that Interact Tales could do with this. And I am really anticipating more from them. Can't wait. In the meantime, though, I will pop a link in the description below if you guys and girls want to go and play this one for yourselves. And check out their other stuff too. All on Newgrounds, all of this stuff, every single uh, Dead Detective minigame so far is on Newgrounds. So if you go and dig this one up, you can play the other ones too. And I would recommend maybe playing them from the start. And going in order, if you haven't, um, if you haven't really played the early ones. Alright, that's it from me. Don't forget to want that like button if you didn't need to like this. Don't forget to want the subscribe button too. If you want to stay up to date with my shenanigans, I've been Mikey Guy. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, one night. See you all next time around. Bye for now.